Howdy, YouTube. Um, so in this video, I kind of tried out a great plugin called Duplicator, which is great if you need a production copy of, or sorry, a local copy of your production site, or if you need um, a, to move over a production site in existence. And what's really novel to me about Duplicator, someone who's been around the space a ton, is that Duplicator lets me create a new WordPress site without having to have a working WordPress site set up. Um, so other ones we've used, uh, you typically have to make a new WordPress site and then add uh, the plugin to it, re-import it. Duplicator skips all that by giving you a single installer script that you put in the same directory as the, the uh, archive of the other site, and then it takes care of connecting all of that stuff for you. It's really cool. Um, so without any further ado, let's get to that. All right, so with Duplicator, let's assume I have no packages. I'm gonna click Create New. I'm gonna give it the name of a file. It'll default to this naming structure. I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna click next and it will do a scan process. It'll build. And when I build, it'll give me a couple options. I'm going to select the one that seems to be their preferred method, having never used Duplicator in much depth. I think I've run through it once or twice with someone guiding me. Um, but I'm gonna click one click download. And that'll give me two files that I'm gonna download both of. And then what it wants me to do, so I'm doing this all locally um, on a server. So I have this folder called LKCS dev, which is the local version of my low key coffee snob site or where I want it to be. Currently there's nothing there that's not a working WordPress site. What I believe will happen is if I download, put the both the zip uh, and the installer in there, then I go to the installer in my directory, so lkcs slash dev installer. So it's complaining that my archive is empty, which is an interesting and real problem. So let's uh, make sure that we've let that download in time. And then we can pull over what should be a sizable archive. So there we go, we've got 98 megabytes. So let's reload the installer. It's validating, all right. I've read and accept the terms and notices. Sure. This all looks good though. So now I'm going to have it do it. It might take several minutes. Oh, no, that was pretty fast. Okay, yes. And I've got a root root, I believe. All right, that looks good. Everything makes sense to me. Let's see if it worked. It appears to have worked. So now if I log in, I'll have to figure out my password real quick using my password manager. So I'll copy over my not very good password. I should make a new one, but these are my same login credentials from the production website. And dang, that's pretty cool. So Duplicator basically is a really quick tool for copying over an entire WordPress site without needing to install the WordPress site locally. Uh, so that's really awesome. And I'm actually pretty pumped to know that Duplicator exists and I'm sad that I've gone so long in WordPress without using such a powerful tool to pull in local development stuff. Um, so it, it, Duplicator is telling me I should definitely remove the installation files, which is a thing I was wondering about idly. So I really like that it does that. This is a great plugin and I highly recommend it. I hope that video is helpful for you. Uh, because this is YouTube, I feel legally obligated to tell you to like and subscribe to this video uh, if you enjoyed our content. Um, definitely check out the WP Shout site as well, and cheers.